Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. This week we are heading from Mildura to Echuca. There is a massive amount of rain coming. So we are going to bunker down in Echuca and ride it out. We're going to make it a two day trip. We are loving the Murray River, can't get enough of it. Found a great spot for lunch at Robin Vale. We just stopped at Robin Vale for lunch and its catch cry is the town of plenty. They got plenty of grapes. There is so much produce. We just drove past 15 kilometres of cashew trees. How many grapes do we eat? Drink. We must drink a lot of grapes. There's some pretty happy mamas out there. Oh look, there's a jetty down there too. The first night we stayed at Tulibuck Sporting Club. It's $20 per night with power and unpowered is free. It was pelting down rain when we got there and it was wet when we left. So there's no video of the actual campgrounds. It's a bitumen car park next to the toilet block with bins, toilets and hot showers. It was okay for an overnighter. It's a very cute little town and the pub looked awesome. So maybe next time. The bridge was pretty special. And the grapes, well they just don't stop. It is insane. I didn't realise we were back in New South Wales again last night. We have been over the river. We've got to stop doing that, I'm so confused. <laughs> It was still raining when we headed into Swan Hill. We were going to stay at Swan Hill, but we found a better spot. We did find the giant Murray Cod. Then we moved on. We're coming back this afternoon for a look around. We are staying at Lake Boga. Boga? We are staying at Lake Boga. You book in at the caravan park and the campsites are on the far side of the lake, which works well today because the wind will be behind us. And yep, it's still raining, and windy, and cold. Great views if you could just see it. It's $15 a night, and includes toilets, hot showers, and bins. We did an Arvo trip into Swan Hill, picked up some treats. It's still raining, the decision has been made. We are booking into a van park in Echuca. We found a van park called Tasman Park on the Merrill, on the river. It's right on the river. It's a massive park, 63 acres of land and about 1.5 kilometres of Murray River frontage and holds approximately 2,000 people when full. I just heard that somewhere. At the moment, it's recovering from flood damage. However, most sections were operating. It's mostly cabins with a small section for caravans. We opted for the Stay for 7, Bay for 6 deal. They also have houseboat hire. From the banks you could see most of the local paddle steamers as they came up and turned around in front of the park. I just love paddle steamers. I could live on this. How awesome is that? It's still raining. First stop the Information Centre. That's a cool Information Centre. The lady at the Info Centre was super helpful. They have a huge range of local goods. We grabbed some pamphlets and we set off. Yeah, it's still raining. So it's wet, raining and miserable and we are off to the Beach West Bakery for lunch. It's been really raining. 
Lunch was so good and it hit the spot. They were super busy. Any wonder, it is so chilly. It super warmed us up. After lunch, we went for a walk around town. How cute are these bears? Then the old buildings just got me again. Some had signs to tell their history. We visited the lolly shop, got my hair cut, He's leaving me behind because he's getting a wet butt and he won't put his jumper on. Then we headed off to this shop we'd spotted called Forever Fresh. It's like a big deli with all these super fancy goods. Still raining. Actually, it's rained a lot. I'm so glad we splurged on the caravan park. Then finally, the next morning, it broke. The sun came out four days later. So today we are heading into Murray River Paddle Steamers and we are doing a cruise for lunch to a winery and back again. And we're gonna take you with us. We are going on the PS Canberra. PS meaning paddle steamer. She was built in 1912 by the Connor family at the mouth of the Murray River in Goolwa in South Australia. Now welcome aboard, watch a step across here my friends. She was sold in 1945 to the Collins family. They added the second deck and she pioneered the tourist trade. She was sold again in 2001 to the owners of the PS Emmaloo and the PB Pride of the Murray. In 2002 she began a refit in Moama. The diesel engine was replaced with a 1923 Marshall and Sons portable steam engine. She was repainted with the new colour scheme and resumed regular service in 2003. The PS Canberra is the oldest riverboat in the Murray River Paddle Steamers fleet. And she celebrated her century in August 2013. We are heading to Morrison's Winery and Restaurant. The cost is $95. It includes a one hour return cruise on the paddle steamer, 30 minutes to the restaurant, a two course lunch, entree and main, complimentary drink, wine, beer or soft drink, and free wine tasting. You pre-order on the boat and hand your selection to the wait person at the restaurant.
the food was delicious. We had two hours for lunch, which we felt was great timing, not rushed and not too long, but enough time for a couple of drinks and to enjoy the experience. With 15 hectares under vine, Morrison is home to a variety of premium blends. From the classic Shiraz, Savon Blanc, they are also renowned for their pink fronty Moscato. My favourite, it was delicious. The winery, in fact, was right next door to the caravan park we were staying at. With four bellies, we toddled back down to the paddle steamer and enjoyed our 30 minute trip back to the dock. Watching them manoeuvring this old girl is quite an experience on its own. No side thrusters on this old boat, but they manage quite gracefully. Now it had finally stopped raining, we had been waiting for a look around the port. The first stop was the Port of Echuca Discovery Centre. It's a free walk around. If you want to do the tour, it's $14 per person. It was quite interesting watching the videos on the different steamers. He also had a gift store with local produce. Once outside, we checked out the heritage buildings and toddled through some of the stores. I had been itching to get some sunset photos of these boats, so we headed down to the riverbank to tick that off the box. Well, that's it for this week. Love your life. Be kind, stay happy, and we'll see you next Sunday at 6am.